legalizing sports betting advancing in the General Assembly. Another vote is expected today among lawmakers. Tamara Scott is live in downtown Raleigh with a preview. Tamara, good morning. Good morning, John and Barbara. Well, if you're a betting person, odds are you're closer to being able to place a bet on sports here in our state. Another vote is expected today in the Senate on that sports betting bill that's gaining a lot of attention. The House Bill 347 would allow bets on college, professional, and other sports on your phone or any other electronic device. It would also authorize the creation of eight in-person sports books at venues across the state. Now, a big talker of the bill is the economic impact to the state. A a report from the Spectrum, Spectrum Gaming Group predicts more than $500 million in revenue by the third year. This would mean the state would take in nearly $92 million based off of an 18% tax rate. Now, the money is expected to go towards smaller sports programs in the UNC system and problem gambling programs. A lot of people love sports in this state. And so if Virginia is seeing $500 million a month being wagered there, I think we can expect that that number will be exceeded in North Carolina once it gets up and running. Now, there is some opposition to this bill. Some people are worried about the negative impacts that this could have on the younger generation, but we'll bring you updates as the Senate makes that vote today. Back to you.